morning, Sheikh Mujib was settling into a VIP suite at Heathrow Airport. His arrival came as something of a shock, as his plane had already been in the air six hours before airport officials were warned to expect him. On to Claridge's hotel, where a crowd of his London-based supporters waited to greet him. In the hotel's ballroom, he gave a news conference. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangla. The Sheikh showed few effects from his nine months imprisonment in West Pakistan, though his aide said he would be having a full medical checkup in London. This is an historic occasion for us, for the people of Bangladesh. We have in our midst finally the free Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the beloved leader of the people of Bangladesh and the leader of the oppressed people of the world in our midst. Today, <clears throat> I am free to share the unbounded joy of freedom with my fellow countrymen. We have owned their freedom in an epic liberation struggle. The ultimate achievement of this struggle is the creation of an independent, sovereign People's Republic of Bangladesh, of which my people declared me as the president while I was a, I was a prisoner in the condemned cell, awaiting the execution of a sentence of hanging. Could you tell us how great do you think at the moment are the problems facing Bangladesh? Unfortunately, I may appeal to the world. Millions of people will die. My whole road communication has been destroyed. My railway communication has been destroyed. Thousands of villages have been burned. My economy has been destroyed. You know Bengal is a wonderful country. It has very big resources, very, big, very, big, very good fertile lands, but unfortunately exploited hundreds of years by the foreign powers. And I think, you gentlemen in British, citizen of Great Britain, you have some responsibility of, also, uh, uh, responsibility of Bangladesh also, because we have contributed, contributed many things to your resources. The bubble of the Bengal soil, you understand it's many of the industry dependent on Bengal. And I appeal to you, for the sake of the humanity, all over the world, all the states of the world, to come to this coup, to save the hungry millions of my people, because they're dying.